Hi, I'm Rich Fidlow from RF Contracting, and today we're going to talk about dry wells. Now, on the board, we have an illustration of a dry well. It's simply a hole in the ground, and you line that hole with filter fabric, all sides, plus top and bottom. You fill it with clean gravel, and the voids between the stone is your gallon capacity for holding water. Now, we've got, in this illustration, a drain box uh, to collect surface water. We use the top six inches for soil so we could grow grass on top of it. And we connected our drainage system directly into the dry well itself. You can do that one of two ways, either by tying directly into the drain box itself and the drain boxes they come with cutouts for the pipe to go right in there. Or you could drop your drainage line to a lower elevation to get a better pitch in your pipe which in most cases is the way to go. Um, of course, the water, once it fills up your dry well, is going to disperse into the surrounding soil uh, rather than have the, having the water flooding out your property. So it's, it's a great concept. Now, there are a couple little tricks you can use to get more longevity out of the life of your dry well. If you do it right, it'll last 20 years, 30 years. And that is uh, simply to add more layers of filter fabric when you're installing your dry well. In this illustration, I have, in addition to all sides plus top and bottom, another layer of filter fabric about two-thirds of the way down of the dry well, and another one about one-third the way down. Okay? Now, let's talk about gallon capacity. For this illustration, we're talking about a hole that's eight foot wide by eight foot wide by four feet deep. And I have here three foot six inches simply because you're going to use the top six inches for soil because you want to grow grass on top of your dry well and not just have an open gravel pit. Uh, that equates 224 cubic feet. Now, each cubic foot, it holds seven and a half gallons of water, empty. So 224 cubic feet times seven and a half gallons per cubic foot equals 1,680 gallons. Now, we're gonna fill that up with three quarter inch clean stone. The three quarter inch clean stone will, will take up 45% of the volume of the hole and leave 55% of the volume of that hole for water capacity. So your 1,680 uh, gallons is you know, times 55% equals 924 gallon capacity using the three quarter inch stone. You can get more water capacity by using two inch to three inch clean gravel rather than the three quarter inch clean gravel. The two to three inch gravel, uh, two to three inch gravel will give you 65% water capacity versus the 55% when using the three quarter inch clean for 1,092 gallons capacity. Now that might sound like a lot of water. However, if you look at a property, it's flooded out, how many gallons is that really that's sitting on top of the, uh, of the land? It could be several thousand gallons. So you may wanna do some calculations, figure out how big of a dry well you wanna install. Uh, we installed one recently that was 18 by 22 by 10 feet deep. The reason we had to do that, the, the, there was an addition put on the building and the municipal uh, engineers determined that they exceeded their lot size for impervious areas for runoff and they made the uh, property owner install this large capacity dry well because they simply didn't want all that runoff into their stormwater system. So there's a few things to consider there. But they worked really well, the dry wells, and that's all we have for you today and we'll see you next time.